Hello and welcome to the Open Virtual Film Project. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import a scene from Blender into Unreal using the Blender Unreal Bridge found in the project. If you're curious about the difference between scenes and assets, there is a video discussing that in the playlist linked in the description. I'm going to fly around my scene, make sure my scene's all good to go, and start at the top of my Blender Unreal Bridge with my setup information. So the import type on this is a scene. The import description is going to be flower one. I'm going to call this flower scene and have my, not flower, flower, and have Gary's initials at C. With that done, I want to go through my scene and do some sanity checks before I go into cleanup and exporting. So the first thing I want to do is step through my scene and make sure everything I want to be a singular object is one object, and everything I want to be multiple objects is set to being multiple objects. For instance, if I'm looking at this here, I probably want all of these items here to be a single object. So I'm going to join them by selecting them and right click join. And now you can see this is one object instead of the four objects it was before. If, for instance, on these rocks I had objects that are joined that I don't want to be joined, I can jump into edit mode by hitting tab and make selections to separate objects. So. I select a singular vertice, select select linked. That'll select everything that's touching. That looks pretty good as one object. I'll separate that selection by hitting P and by selection. If I had this object, but I also wanted to include those vertices and those vertices weren't selected. I can use the box select tool by pushing B, box select, or the circle select tool by pushing C and drag selecting. Deselect is done with the middle mouse button on the circle select tool. Or various other methods of making selections inside of Blender. The other thing I can do is that same P key from before, this separate, allows me to separate by selection, material, or loose parts. If I select loose parts, you'll see I have three objects. However, if I had a bunch of small pieces, the select loose parts would probably cause me a, a very large amount of headache. All right, so back to non-isolated view. I have my three objects here. And once I have everything joined together and the way I want it, I want to go through, make sure everything has a name in the outliner, how I want it to be named. So I'm just going through selecting objects, hitting F2 in Windows, and that allows me to rename them. Also, if there were any parenting I wanted to do, I would do that now. If I wanted all of these rocks to be parented under this big rock, I could select them. Control P, set parent, and I would do object keep transform. Or I could select an object in the content browser, drag, hold shift, and drop, and then the object is parented. So now those two objects go together. In this particular case, this scene is so small that I'm not going to worry about any parenting in it. Once I've got all my meshes done, I want to do the same thing for materials. Selecting objects going to the materials browser and through all of them. Once that's done, I'm going to go back into the under Unreal Bridge tool with the N key 
to open the sidebar and select the tools panel. And I'm going to do some cleanup. So if I select this object, there's a couple of things that I know about it immediately. One, it's a photo scanned rock, so it might be a bit higher poly than I want it to be. And two, the origin is not centered on the object. One of the quick ways of fixing all of that is to run the quick clean geo function, which will center up the origin and do a fair few cleanup functions on the object itself. There's some functions to change how much it decimates the object based off a of planar decimate or how far apart the vertices are merging and whether or not you want to edit those afterward with apply modifiers. If you're a Blender person, that might make some sense to you. If you're not a Blender person, there are a bunch of tutorials on modifiers and cleaning up with modifiers available. Next down this section is a merge objects by empty and remove unused empties. Frequently when you're importing from Rhino or SketchUp, you have whole stacks of objects that you want to merge together and they're all parented under a single empty object. This tool will merge anything that exists under an empty object into a singular object and can run the quick clean geometry on each of those merged objects if you select a little quick clean here. Remove unused empties, just find any empties with no children and delete them. Six parenting fixes an issue between Blender and Unreal where Blender does some weird things with how it handles parents. I run it every time I export, so I'll select everything in a scene using the A key and then run fixed parenting. If you need light maps quickly, if you're baking lighting, there's a function to generate a very quick and dirty light map for the object that you're working on, as well as a function to select objects with the same number of vertices. The last function in the cleanup section is the origin to selected. If, for instance, I wanted this rock to have its origin point right there, go into edit mode, select where I want, or make a selection of several objects, and it will average between the selection. Uh, if I click, and then if I click origin to selected, you'll see the little orange dot, which is the origin of the object, has moved to do its new location. Once I'm happy with my scene being cleaned up, and my face count and try count are in a good place, the general rule of thumb is you want to try to keep under 20 million polygons in a scene, in my experience. Once that is done, I'm going to do my naming conventions. So I'm going to make a selection of everything in the scene. Since I have this already filled out, I can run mesh naming convention. And you'll see it puts in the SM flower scene underscore character underscore flower cap. And I can do the same for material naming conventions. Once I've done that, I'm going to run remove duplicate materials. It's a quick function that cleans out any materials that are have the .001.002 at the end of them or are unused by your object. Again, like fixed parenting, it's a great thing to run before you export because it doesn't take very much time and it fixes several problems that will show up in this process. Once I'm happy with how everything is laid out and I've done all of my naming conventions and clear, I can click Export for Unreal. Once it's finished exporting, I can open my Unreal project. Very important that the Unreal project is open. Go back to Blender and hit Send Command to Unreal. With the file imported, I can then work on bringing it into my environment. In this particular instance, I don't have an environment created, so I'm going to quickly run through the VP dynamic set list, creating a new environment, which is our scene. To create, add a new set up level to it. Oh, 
Now, with a level generated for me, I can go in, select the sub-level that I want to import my assets into, in this case, SL Flower Scene Geo version 1. And I'm going to bring in this ASB Flower Scene Flower Cap 2 out into the world and reset its location to 000. Now I've got my scene out in the world. I could, if I wanted to, just click Rebuild Hierarchy. However, with scenes, there's an extra step that I can take. If I click First Run, you will notice that the assets in the content browser are all gray. First Run will do the same thing as Rebuild Hierarchy, but it will also jump into the Assets browser and make the changes to the assets as they were imported. So in the future, if I wanted to use any of these rocks, I could just drag and drop them out into the world. So now I have my scene inside of Unreal from Blender. I need to, to finish the scene out. such as the material changes that I am doing to this leaf asset, including making sure that my roughness minimum on this leaf is at a high enough value that it looks more realistic. And from there, I'll go through the rest of the scene and fill it up. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.